Well, I know for Nicole that there's like a lot more of her backstory where she came from, her family. Um, I think uh, that comes out in season three, which is really exciting. It's exciting for me as an actor, and I think it'll be really exciting for fans who like Nicole's story to see. Um, it's just really nice to find out where she came from. That was fun. Yes, and for Waverly, um, another whirlwind of the season for Waverly, I would say, as always. Um, and finally, some of the answers um, to her burning questions were answered. Yeah. That's fair to say. Yeah, definitely. And also, it's just going to be fast paced, glorious, sexy madness the whole season. I think maybe she's a little bit afraid of her dark side, so she compensates by being overly positive, overly happy, overly bright. I think Nicole's just um, wants to always be the protector, but is not as comfortable at, at being protected. And so I think that um, it's, you guys are okay? <laughs> that was I think that um, that she she. This season, we also do see her being a little more vulnerable and, and actually needing Waverly to protect her. I think that's a really nice shift for her, and I think it's taken a while for Nicole to get comfortable enough to um, allow someone to do that for her. From from yeah, ourselves, yeah. Um, absolutely. Like I think for me, the protector aspect and wanting to. Um, be the one who like it's like okay I'll figure it out it's okay don't worry about it is very much something I do in life that I need to try to do less of um, but I think um, that aspect of Nicole for sure wanting to, to, to not have anyone else have to worry about it and just do the work yourself I think I definitely can identify with mm, I think for me whether I want it or not <laughs> her like bubbly energy um, that is often derives from like feeling nervous and anxiety and like saying stupid stuff and then being like what did I just say is what I think comes <laughs> out most in, in Waverly's kind of manner. Um, I sometimes like accentuate that a little bit more uh, like on set and stuff. Yeah. I think that that's what comes out in her attitude. Um, and then there's other things that, of course, that don't come naturally that you have to be working on constantly to bring into that, like the bravery and stuff, mm. you know. But the, the kind of like top layer, I, I really relate to. Good questions, you guys. Question. Really good questions. I mean, my, the, the first thing that came to my mind for me is that I never allowed myself to um, travel much because I always wanted to be available for auditions and I worried that if I left, I would not be able to audition. And I think um, now that I'm so fortunate enough to get to travel more and more, I think that's, I wouldn't say it's a mistake, it's just maybe a regret that I didn't do it sooner in my life because I think traveling maybe had have realizations about myself that I didn't come to until a little bit later in my life. I wish I'd had them in my early 20s. Mm -hmm. Not yet for me. Another which project. Project. Oh, um, not yet. Hopefully soon. I'm working on creating um, a, a, like a little show of my own. So. My goal is to have some piece of it out within between this September and next September. Produce, produce a little bit of it. Super, super exciting. Yeah. yeah. Yes, see? She knows more. <laughs> she knows more. No necesita la bolsa, gracias. <laughs> or that's like a good one because I'm an eco, but it means I don't need the bag. Thank you. Oh. Um, El corazón, mi corazón, uh, te quiero mucho. Uh, I know a bunch of stuff. You know, buenos días. I know that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. 
That's not a phrase. That's like one word. To be fair, like my mum lived in yeah. Madrid, so I had to know a little bit to go and 